And I want to come back to you, Jenna, about now the human um, impact, because I know that there's been reports of people having really strange rashes and so on. Could you talk about the latest and what's going on with people with illnesses or any response to that in the local health community? Or is there any kind of alarm about like what's could happen long-term, especially to children, things like that? Anything? So, yeah, there's, um, so there's definitely a lot of rashes, a lot of gastrointestinal issues, a lot of like headaches, fatigue, um, hospitalizations for like, um, chemically induced pneumonia. Um, and I think the issue that, that we've heard is that the doctors won't diagnose people with chemi- chemically induced anything um, because they aren't trained to do that um, mm-hmm. or they've been instructed not to do that, um, which is what I've heard the most is that if they're not within a certain radius, then you shouldn't be diagnosing them with any sort of chemical exposure. Um, the di- the ability to test for dioxins in the blood has become nearly impossible to get in this area. Um, the local labs won't won't do the test for it. Like even if you have a prescription, they they won't run the whatever test it will. You have to test blood and urine for dioxins. And I, I'm pretty sure you have to do it really quickly because your body will, will flush it out. That doesn't mean you aren't exposed or can't get the symptoms. Um, we've partnered with a couple doctors, um, Dr. Galome from California, San Diego, University of California, San Diego. Um, she dealt with some of the Gulf, Gulf War illness, which has very similar exposure symptoms, Um, And then we've been chatting with some people from Case Western Reserve towards Cleveland about a cancer study that they're going to to start to push for funding of um, more for the long term versus the short term. Um, The Norfolk Southern set up a a makeshift clinic that I guess now is going to stay in the area and at first didn't even have a doctor, or didn't do vitals. Um, Mm -hmm. And it was really just a PR stunt. But for some reason, that is going to stay forever now, Mm -hmm. um, which doesn't make sense because everything's safe and okay. Um, So there's like a lot of contradicting things that happen. Um, And then Mm -hmm. like when you think about the town itself, um, it's a little bit divided when it comes to like everything's fine and everything's not fine because um, genetically everybody responds to chemical exposure a little bit differently but the mm-hmm. town is continuing as is. Um, mm-hmm. There's like an Easter egg hunt planned at the park, which is not far from one of those um, contaminated creeks where the soil results haven't even come back yet. But we're going to send children to dig around in the dirt for, for Easter okay. egg. And those are the, the people that are, I mean, the smaller you are, the more impacted you are by, right. by any exposure. So... Mm-hmm.